The Harris Chain of Lakes in Central Florida. These seven interconnected lakes are definitely big bass country and so much of the history of tournament bass fishing has been written here. Well, we're gonna write another chapter of that history today for you. The Carhartt Bassmaster College National Championships presented by Bass Pro Shops. Tommy Sanders here with Ronnie Moore in the Bassmaster Studios. And Ronnie, the 14th year for the college championships and now look at, I mean, 20% or more of the Elite Series anglers come from a college program. The winner of the last Elite Series tournament uh, uh, was a college guy from South Carolina who rewrote the record books, Patrick Walters, for the biggest margin of victory. Come a long way. College has gotten so competitive. It is that stepping stone from the College Series to the semi-pros to the Bassmaster Elite Series. But when you get to the college championship, you have basically said, hey, I've had a good year. I've made the championship. If you can be at the top of the leaderboard at the end of the college championship I've had a great year and you end up being one or two steps away from the Bassmaster Classic which is every single anglers dream come true so it's going to be a great one in Florida and a different time of the year than we've ever had a college championship before. So how did our 119 teams get to this national championship? Well through a series of regional qualifiers five of them to be exact let's start with the one on the Sabine River in Louisiana famous Toledo Bend out of Manny. I got to witness this one, Tommy. Cody Huff, Dakota Pierce did something that you do in the Ozarks, vertically fishing with electronics, and they got it done overlapping the field in that one. Smith Lake in Coleman, Alabama. High mountain clear water. We normally see that during the spawn or post spawn, but we saw it early in February. 47 pounds, four ounces, got it done from McKendry, Ethan Jones, Andrew Althoff. Our next qualifier, famous Lake Hartwell there, near Greenville, South Carolina, and also near Clemson University. We had a big gap there from February to August with no tournaments, but we resumed after the COVID protocols, and Cody Gregory, Levi Mullins took it for three days. A tough Lake Hartwell, but one nonetheless. Lake Cumberland and Kentucky, always a feast or famine kind of place. What was it this time around, Ronnie? It was a very diverse, small bait, kind of like the way we saw the fall transpire for the Elite Series events. Nolan Miner, Casey Lanier from West Virginia getting it done there. And now we come to our championship playing field, the Harris Chain of Lakes here in Central Florida, the Ocklawaha River Basin here, just north of Orlando and seven lakes in play running. There are a lot of different places you can go and they all have a little bit different characteristics. You can go Harris, Little Harris, you can go up into Eustis, lock into Griffin, there's Dora, Beauclair, so many others as well. A diverse fishery. In the fall, it'll be interesting to see how it goes down. And this is going to be a big mark already. Listen up, Leesburg, Florida, five fish in their bag. 28 pounds, seven ounces. And Brian Collins quickly moves to the top of the leaderboard and they might be there all day, 28-7. Shockingly big weight, especially for this time of year. On the Harris chain, 28-7 for Cole Sands and Connor DeMaro. What an opening shot to fire running. Oh, well, and you see Florida on the schedule. You know big bass are a possibility, but you don't know what your lead's going to be. If you have the lead even, but 28-7 has the lead, but a slim margin over second place. Yeah, look at those weights, though. Really, really big for this time of year. University of Alabama, 25-1. McKendree University, we've seen them many times before in this college championship. Lamar University having a great day as well. Now we get into day two action. Full field still fishing, but they want to make it to that top 12 cut to make it to the championship day three. Yesterday we had 28-7. Uh, had a really good day. Well, we started off, it took us probably 35 minutes to get our first bite, but it was a good one. It was a four pounder. Then it, you know, we, we went through a lull, lost a couple good ones, but uh, we caught everything we had by 11.30. As soon as we got rid of a two pounder, um, we left our spot, our best area, and started bouncing around a little bit and uh, trying to find some new stuff. So uh, yesterday we were dragging, dragging all day. The moving bite, uh, moving bait bite, just wasn't really happening. So we had to slow down and drag a worm, um, and that was that was the key for us yesterday. Well, the two anglers that everyone is chasing on this second day of competition. Again, you have to be in the top 12 if you want to fish on the championship day, the third day of this uh, of this great national championship. And now we get an idea about how these seven lakes of the Harris chain lay out. It's about 45 minutes from takeoff at Venetian Gardens through the Dead River into the Dora Canal over into Lake Beauclair where Bryan College is going to set up shop. And Tommy, a lot of times we see Florida fish right on the bank. Structure, lily pads, grass, maybe flipping some top water, but also so offshore fishing in Florida shines and they're going to show us a couple different baits this week on these grass flats way offshore that still hold a lot of fish year round for these teams. Got one. 
I'm digging. You can come. It's a good one. That'll start it off. It's close to three pounder. Yeah, it's a weird one for this hole. I'll take a look. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Good opening keeper for Bryan College landed there by Cole Sands. Of course, this team from Bryan College, Ronnie, they uh, they were trying to stop a repeat by another college powerhouse. Uh, that would be Bethel College in 2019 last year, and where they were on their home lake, the Bryan College home lake of Chickamauga. They got to sleep in their own beds that week for the championship, Tommy, but they came up short second place in that event. And now they're going to go down to Florida, and you're like, oh, well, now, of course, they're going to have a good event there. But Connor DeMaro's from that neck of the woods. He fished in high school around the Harris chain, the Kissimmee chain, those lakes in Florida. So oh they God. are familiar with uh, the way they fish. And this team, hey, no better way to come back from a second place than to have the lead after day one of the championship. So this team is definitely motivated to try to get it done in 2020. Yeah, they were absolutely up against a very, very tough Bethel University team in 2019. They've had a year to think about that loss to Cole Floyd and Carter McNeil. Last year was my home lake and we came second and it was so devastating. And uh, to win this one is my last collegiate national championship. To have another shot at it, to be in a good position to win it. Man, it would mean everything. I uh, told Connor, if we win this thing tomorrow, I'm going to cry like a baby on stage. I just want you to know. Um, but yeah, it, it, would, it would mean so much. I, I, I don't think I can even put it into words. I think I got one. Yep. Big it. Got him? Yep. Big one, too. All right, keep him coming. Yep, giant. Big one? Yep, big one. Good deal. Keep him down. Where are you coming? Straight behind us. Straight behind us. Five pounder. Four pounder. Yes. Yeah. Another good one. Four pounder. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you know, we both started fishing um, high school high school bass events, and now we're fishing college bass events, and we both love to continue our career with bass, uh, moving on to the opens and qualifying for the elites and fishing the elites. Um, you know, that's that's the dream. I'm a big, big one. Give me that, give me that. It is a big one. Yes, sir. Four and a half. Let's go, baby. That's a good one. That's a five man. They're biting a lot better today than they did yesterday. But basically what we're doing out here is we got a, there's a big clump of grass that sticks out and uh, out into the middle of the lake. And we're just sitting right on the edge of it, throwing, just dragging a worm. Um, and these fish, they're, I don't, they're, I think while our bites are sporadic, these fish are moving back and forth, chasing bait um, off this edge and eating them, um, just hanging out at here right on the edge. So we're just, you'll see us have to snap our baits out of the grass and that's what we're doing. Just fishing the edge, try to get as close to the edge as we can. Connor DeMauro of Bryan College, very uh, articulately laying down his game plan for today, and that's submerged vegetation on Lake Beauclair. We'll be right back. The Carhartt Bassmaster College Series, presented by Bass Pro Shops, is brought to you by Carhartt. And by Bass Pro Shops. Great shot of the Harris Chain of Lakes there. Welcome you back to this Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops for 2020 at the full field. 119 teams out there, all of them chasing this team 
from Bryan College now with four keepers in yes. the boat. Bryan made up of Cole Sands, the uh, grad student from Calhoun, Tennessee. And Connor DeMauro, a marketing major from Longwood, Florida, which very significantly is just around the corner from the Harris Chain of Lake. Not far down the road, so Connor definitely has experience, and he has put in the time to figure out this, and him and Cole have taken advantage of it after day one and day two so far. Good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's your line? Watch your line. It's a giant. Biggest one yet. I don't know where my. I don't know where my. Okay, okay, okay. Keep them hooked. I don't know where my line is. Right here, Connor. It's a big one. Six pounder. Maybe seven. Get him, guys. Use his name. Oh. Eight pounder. My God. That just happened, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like an eight pounder. Look at that one, baby. Let's go! He straightened my hook almost completely out. God, man, thank you, Jesus. That's five big ones. Good Lord. We got over 20. We got two fours, a five, an eight, and a three. We're probably trying to call this three pounder and then get out of here. We got one spot. It's on the other, completely other side of the lake and some little hairs. It's got big ones in it too. We caught, I caught an eight there in practice. Well, this team for Bryan College definitely putting on a show. Here on Lake Beauclair, of course, a place they, they say it's pretty much a community hole. They, there's been tons of big fish hauled out of this place. And now we move over to the University of Alabama. Tommy, can I get a roll tied for this Alabama team? Sure. Second after day one, 25 pounds, Tyler Lubot, Calvin Landisberg, both fish in high school. Good anglers there and they're showing on the college series now too. Yeah, yesterday we had a pretty good day. We pulled up to our spot and it started a little slow, but then real quick it changed and we boated about a four pounder, another seven pounder, kept fishing around, caught another seven pounder. And uh, we had two little fish that we figured once we called them out, we might as well stop fishing and called them both out pretty quick and stopped fishing at 930 and just played defense the rest of the day. Once we knew we made it, uh, we just kind of we spent a lot of time looking at, you know, Google Earth, finding where nice grass is. We just kind of checked everywhere that looked good. And a lot of the grass isn't here this year. We don't really know what happened, but this place had the healthiest grass we found. And I mean, they're just in it. We're thinking that it seems like the hydrilla ends right here. So it kind of seems like another one of those hard edges. But instead of this way, it's just back in this canal. Yeah, because there's a lot less grass that way. Skating. Barely. <laughs> a touch. A little bit better, but still not what we're looking for. Good keeper in the boat for the University of Alabama, Tyler Lubatton, Calvin Landsberg. Still going up against a big, big lead by Bryan College to start and continue into the second day of competition. They're just kind of just roaming this area off the grass. We spent a practice day and a half and we grabbed this whole entire lake you know, back and forth. And it paid off. I mean, we I can tell you where every piece of grass is and shell and you name it in this lake. And the other lakes are just so big, they're kind of overwhelming. We got some stuff in Carlton too. We found some brush piles and harsh stuff and so, but we're going to save everything we can for tomorrow if we need it. Big one. You got one? Good. Oh my God. We're done, baby. Oh, buddy. Let's go. Oh, we're <laughs> that going. Was, we got to redo that one. <laughs> that was a miss. I fell. Oh. I would like to show this one. Got it freaking choked. We got a bag now. He choked that six inch ridge worm. I made a little switch. It's a good coal. That's a three pounder, so. Make sure that's him. Buddy, we got some good ones in there. Yes, sir. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one, buddy. 
It's a giant. Oh my gosh. He might not even help, that's a problem. He's gonna help, it's a five pounder. Keep him off, that's a five pounder. Ooh. Right here, where you at? Right He's going too far out. Oh, it's a giant, it's a six. That's another five. These are new fish, we ain't even fished for these yet. And I think we're done fishing for them too. There's a hundred right there. And they're pro uh, as we just want to see how big they were. Well, just an incredible display of Harris chain mastery here by the team from Bryan College. Just like on day number one, they put all their weight in the boat before 10 o'clock in the morning. That's more bad news for the rest of the field right there as Connor DeMauro and Cole Sands slap down 27 pounds and five ounces for what is an almost insurmountable lead going into the final day of competition. Take a look at the leaderboard by Karen, a 15 pound plus lead for Bryan College over the likes of Lamar College down in Texas, Georgia Southern University. Out of Vallow from Alabama, Blue Mountain College there way, way back. This field has got a lot of work to do. Beautiful morning on the Harris Chain of Lakes here in Central Florida. Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Full field fish for the first two days, and now we are down to 12 teams on this championship day. A lot on the line, and all of these teams have got to get together a great game plan. Feeling pretty good. We feel like we can catch them. I mean, the bite's probably going to turn on for us around 11 and last for a good minute, so hopefully we can get the big ones to bite. We got a couple of them to bite yesterday, so hopefully we can get five of them, five big ones to bite today. I think our goal today is to stay in that top four to move on to the classic bracket, above all. Well, uh, leading day one and day two is impressive, but uh, day three is what matters, so we gotta go out and catch them today. Um, we got a little lead going into uh, this morning, so uh, we just gotta go, gotta go catch a couple fish, um, but we can't, we can't let up. The, these guys, any of these guys behind us could catch a giant bag um, and catch right back up to us and close the gap, so uh, there's, there's no taking it easy on them today. We're gonna, we're gonna hammer down. That little lead that Connor DeMauro referred to that he and Cole Sands of Bryan College have is about 15 pounds even. I have a classic understatement right there, but that's kind of a good attitude to have as you head out with all these other 11 teams for the final day of competition running. It's the final day of the college series for most of these guys, and the feeling of having a shot to win or a shot to make the bracket is a feeling like none other for Bryan College as they make it to Lake Beauclair. These guys are gonna try to hammer down one more day, Tommy. Five fish separate them in a national championship. They were in this position last year, and they surrendered that lead going into the final day, and they really wanna take it home, win that championship. It would mean a lot for DeMauro, for sure, living in his home state fishing there, and for Sands, his last year college fishing, it would mean a lot to win as well. Well, Connor DeMauro downplayed the size of that gigantic lead they have, but he was right too. Any other team could catch a bag of giants and make it close. Gotta get that first bite. There it is, Connor. Please, one, two. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, yeah, baby. That's how we started off. Come on with it, son. Oh. Let's take a five pounder for number one. I was reeling it in too, it was the crazy part. It bit it right under the boat. Barely hooked. That's what lives here though. Let me get this water ready. That's a five, dude. This Bryan College team just absolutely picking up where they left off. Recall the first two days of this competition with 28 plus on day one, 27 on day two all before 10 o'clock in the morning. And now we switch over to Lamar State College from there in Orange, Texas on the Texas Gulf Coast. Good day number one, had him in fourth place. After day number two, they bring in 20 pounds plus again to take the second spot. Have that 50, the privilege of that 15 pound deficit to Bryan College. We hadn't really been fishing here. We're just killing time. Yeah. We're 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. About that's what after about 11:30 is when we start. We start catching fish. We can start catching a couple around 9:30, 10 o'clock. You start getting some more bites, but even then, I don't know. Y'all might see us sometimes. We flip it in there and just let it sit. There's one. Good job, Bo. Dude, freaking hook. That's Raven Keeper. That's number one. Might need to put some water in there, too. All right, just gonna tell the boat. Hook. Keeper in the boat for Brett Frigier, and Jack Tyndall, the junior and the sophomore from Lamar State College as we take you over to an Alabama college, Montevallo with Miller Spivey and Trey Dickert. Oh yeah, he is. Attaboy, Miller. And Tommy, it's a reoccurring theme. The early morning bite seems to be firing for those anglers fishing offshore right here with Spivey and Dickert. Just like Sands and tomorrow, catching them early on those offshore grass flats, those hard spots, things like that. And it makes sense. Tyndall and Frigé saying, hey, we're not really getting anything up shallow until that 11, 11.30, so we're just buying some time. Those offshore fish are biting early this morning on final day, and that's a good one for the Montevallo team if they want to close this gap. we got a long way to go to do that for Miller Spivey. Coosa River, Alabama River area there, the senior marketing major, and Trey Dickert, the junior from Greer, South Carolina, who interestingly said, I wanted to move out of South Carolina so I could become a more well-rounded fisherman. And he's done a good job of it, doing great in this national championship, but you're gonna have to do better than great to catch Bryan College. At this point, they are streaking for the third straight day, a massive lead on this championship day in the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series Championship. Final day, championship day at this Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Of course, what a coveted prize. A national championship at the college level, but something else these teams are shooting for is to finish in the top four slots because the eight anglers who will be composed of those top four slots will be in the bracket competition for a single spot in the Bassmaster Classic 2021 as we get our first look at this Georgia Southern University team. Avery Thomason and Ty Black. Tommy, like you said, the final day, if you can't win or you're trying to jump from the top 12 up to the top four to make that bracket, it's a life-changing opportunity. Have a shot at the Bassmaster Classic and the Georgia Southern duo have one fish in the boat early. It's not the size they want, but it's a start. Just gotta do it. Did you? Yeah. Don't have it, does it? Yeah. It's not big. Do something. God, he's barely, barely hooked. Number two. They ain't big right now, but just confidence boosters till we get our best offshore spot. We'll see if we can't get a big one or two to bite. It's kind of passing time till about 10. Look, probably about 10 o'clock is when we're going to go hit our good spot. So our best spot's that bridge, and first thing, the first day we hit it, and we didn't catch a fish off it. And we that kind of keyed us in that the sun, the high sun really positions them against the pylons, and we can really uh, reel our crank better by them and bounce them off them. Not that. But like I was saying, that sun gets up and it gets them right up against it and we can get real close and catch them. Mm, I'm gonna do it. You got it. You can do it. I thought you were handing them to me to do it. No, I was looking to see if it was even 12 inches long. I'd measure them. I like that small worm. But like you said, we're just passing time that sun gets up and positions right on our, our best spot. And with this, this big moon, your main feeding period is gonna be in the middle of the day. So like I said, 11 to two, just like yesterday is when we caught majority of our weight. And 
today. Here in a little bit, we'll probably go to that spot and probably stay out the rest of the day and just pick them off as much as we can because there's a bunch of fish on it. We kind of saved them the entire week to, we told everybody we was going to burn it, burn that bridge down today, so. We're hoping today we can really lean on them and really put together that, that big sack that we believe is on them, them bridges. Well, number of keepers, no problem. For Georgia's southern size of the keepers, definitely a problem. Got to upgrade if they want to be competitive for the championship on this final day. Brett Frije and Jack Tyndale again from Lamar State College. Yeah, Tommy, these guys have been the lone team we've seen maybe probing that shallow cover, those lily pads. That, there's a lot of different structure on the Harris chain. You've got pencil reeds, you've got grass, you've got offshore grass. Lily pads are a big one as well, and they've been trying to flip their bait in the right places to the base of those clumps to get the big ones. Hopefully catch some, hopefully catch two or three. Yeah, some two and three pounders would help. Damn it, boy. He may keep. Same size as that other one. Yep. God, these are big fish left. <sighs> that makes three. Makes we got three. two to go. Mar State with a long, long way to go with three keepers in the boat. What a beautiful place is Harris Chain. Natural wonder here in Central Florida and back to the real wonders of this tournament, the Bryan College team. This is about how the first morning went. Uh, I mean, it was slow, it's about every 45 minutes. Yesterday was just really good. Uh, we didn't even expect that really, but they're still down there, we can see them. There's, they'll turn on at some point today and we'll be ready. But I'll we'll pick up a reaction bait or two here in a minute, see if I can get one to, get one to bite. Good fish, buddy. Let's go, baby. That's another. Thank you, God. That's another one. Four and a half. He hit my weight three times before he finally hit the worms, the crazy thing. He might be five, but we'll call four and a half. Dig it. Snap my rod. Rod broke, rod broke. Watch your line. Don't let it cut your line. Don't let it cut your line. It's a giant. Is it? Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Don't let that. Don't let that. Oh, I don't want it to cut your line. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. Watch it, watch it. Where are you coming? Still on, still on. Right here, right here. I got him. Get him, Connor. Oh, God. I can't do nothing. Jumped over get the him, net. Get him, get him. Yes. Broke rod, seven <laughs> fighter at all. <laughs> what a nightmare. That actually might be eight. Broke rod, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was, that could have been real bad. I think I did. Look at that giant. <laughs> Oh, that's a seven. Incredible. I knew when that one bit it was going to be a daggum giant. I'm about to, we're about to have some fun today. If you thought for a moment that Bryan College was going to leave anything on the table, well, you have to think again. The size that they have identified and put in the boat actually puts them on pace for a century belt, for hitting the 100 pound mark, if this were to be a four day tournament. All this on the Harris chain and well, in the autumn of the year, late autumn, no doubt. Bryan College on top, North Alabama, McKendree, Lamar State, looking to hold serve here and stay in that top four. The incredible Harris chain here, so much bass fishing tournament history written in these seven lakes, these interconnected lakes. This is the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Championship, the biggest day in college fishing presented by Bass Pro Shops. And we start this day with a giant 15 pound plus lead for Bryan College, everyone else in pursuit, including this team from Alabama's Montevallo University, the Falcons, Miller Spivey, and Trey Dickert, We've just got one keeper so far on this championship day. I don't know though. I can't oh. really tell. I mean, you couldn't tell with the last one, so just take your time. Ah, that ain't a big one. 
Little one. He'll keep that. Dang, he hit it hard. Tommy, you mentioned this team from Montevallo. Trey Dickert, Miller Spivey, they really want to make that top four. The championship win is getting a little out of reach, but making that top four is extremely important to them because their school, Montevallo, is right down the road from Lay Lake, which is where our college Bassmaster Classic bracket is going to be for these guys. So a shot to win and make the Bassmaster Classic on your home lake, that is one that they would love to have. Taking a look at Georgia Southern University once again, Avery Thomason, Ty Black here. So, so some footage from them earlier as they put a few in the boat. They just weren't marking time, they said, until they had a chance to go over to this very prominent main highway bridge, and that's where they think they can get their best results. That midday portion of the day, the sun gets right, it puts enough shade on there, positions the fish, and they can go to work with a crankbait, and that is what they hope to do on these bridge pilings, and it's starting to pay off, but hey, they said they were going to burn this bridge down by the end of the day. Two-pounder. So this is what we caught all our fish on this week. Uh, we're probably the only ones in the field that are throwing this. It's a 6XD. It's the only crankbait we can get them to eat. I believe this is a chartreuse shag color. And uh, we got a couple more, but if we break them off, we got some similar colors. But this is what we've been throwing all three days. And it's been working, and I hope it keeps working today. Got one? See? Yeah. Feel big? Yeah. Keep him down, keep him down. Please, dear Lord. Thanks for one around the pylon. Oh, it's a good one. And a baby! Go, oh, baby. That's what's on this bridge. Lots of them. This crankbait screwed up. Just talking about it, and there we go. Four pounder or so. That's a good start. That's a good one. Four more like that and bigger. We've been making the bracket, buddy. We're burning this bridge down today. Four and a half. Four and a half. Couldn't even do it out there. So we do it. Wham! That fish was suspended up on him. Like I said, the more the sun gets up, and because of the moon phase, being in such a big moon, that middle of the day bites was really, really when this whole bridge turns on and I'm I'm praying bunches of those fish turn on and we can just put on a show for y'all today. Well, Ty Black says what he brings to the team is keeping a positive attitude, staying hopeful. He's holding up his part of the deal today and this team doing well to stay uh, a good firmly in the top four. These guys trying to win it. Brian Tom. Good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a big one. What's that? He's gassed up. Yes, sir. Oh, boys and girls, folks at home, there's another five pounder. We're having fun today. That one, that looks, that one, that looks nasty. <laughs> what's, what's, what should we call it, dude? Let's see. I'll hold it. You call that one. O'Brien College definitely having fun on this championship day. They picked the smaller, one of the smaller seven lakes here in the Harris chain because Connor DeMar is so familiar with it. He said, I was so familiar, I could slow down, and that's been our key. Hey, oh, I like that call that they just made, Tommy. That was a vast, uh, dramatic difference there, but this team motivated, highly motivated. They made the bracket last year because they got second in the national championship, but it wasn't like they came back from a big deficit to move up to second. They lost that lead. A tougher final day for them. They caught numbers, not the size that they wanted. They fell back, but like you said, Bryan College right there on the banks of Chickamauga Lake, which is where they uh, had success last year. Now they go to Florida, a place they also have some experience. Connor tomorrow able to feel at home in his home state. These guys are using their offshore prowess to also catch up on a Carolina rig here in Florida, a bait that you don't often hear about a lot, but one that's very successful. Biggin. Biggin? Yeah, biggin. Like biggin, biggin? Biggin, biggin. biggin. Like big, big. Like big, big? Yeah. We're about to know. Big. Four pounder. Right here, Connor. Get him. Coming up. And there's a four. 
And that's our small. Come on, baby, let's go. Six inch ridge worm. They're biting now. They just turned on. That's their smallest by a pretty good bit still. Ugh. We got some meat, dude. I think we got 25 now. And that's our small one now. I think we got two fives, two four and a halves, and a seven. And that seven really might be closer to eight. Dig it. Oh my gosh. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? It's in the yeah. trolling motor. It's in the trolling motor. Did it's it come good. off? Huh? Did it come off? No, still on it. No. Oh, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. It's on spot lock. Is he still there? I don't know, I can't see. He is, he is. He's afraid of crap. He's still there. Oh, what, a what a mess. <laughs> don't even know if you're cold. <laughs> Your light is frozen so bad. It was still on spot lock when I picked it up. That's a big one, though. I mean, he's just kind of skinny. Oh, what a nightmare. I don't even know if he helped. He jumped into the trolling motor. It must be our day is all I got to say, because that shouldn't have stayed on. That, that seven pounder shouldn't have stayed on either. I'm gonna reel mine in Cole. coal. Don't make another cast on it. Yeah, I think make... definitely. The majority opinion is it has been their day and it has been their week. What a sensational, sensational performance by Brian College. Cole Sands and Connor DeMauro, they may have their best day of all three here on this final day on the Harris Chain of Lakes. What a, what a great, great tour de force performance it has been for this team who's trying to, well, get the taste of being bridesmaids last year out of their mouth. And they're doing it in fine fashion. The Carhartt Bassmaster College Series is brought to you by Carhartt. And by Bass Pro Shops. Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops and everything about this Harris chain says Florida fishing and it truly is Florida fishing at its finest. We got out here on championship day. Brian College pretty much a runaway right now. Competition for those top four spots as we watch Ty Black Avery Thomason doing their job today. They are solid and getting the job done. As you mentioned earlier, Tommy, 119 teams made it to this college national championship. Seven lakes to choose from, but a lot of them can get populated, kind of pressure starts to do it. So you start to see those smaller lakes, Beauclair for the leaders. You see this bridge come into factor. Some off the wall things tend to play in these college championships because anglers have to go find water to themselves, find patterns that fit the style they want to fish. And Thomason and Black right here, finding this bridge, throwing a crankbait, something they think no one else is throwing in the field, and they've made it work, and every day midday, that 12 to two period has really paid off for them. Their biggest fish of the day have come during that time period. Got one. Big one? Yeah. Big, big. Oh my gosh. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Easy, easy, easy. Get me in the boat, Shit. baby! Let's go! Woo, that's a good one. That's a good one. Woo! That's the kind that live here, right there. That's the kind we needed right there. <sighs> Had a baby. Ooh, I got me shaking. That would be a big hole. That would be a big hole. Had a baby. Ooh. You should feel my dang heart right now. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm shaking like a leaf. Had a baby. Five pounds. Five. 498. 
go, baby. What we got? That's what you come to Florida for. Gotta be shaking, son. It's all good. Let's go. One more. One more and we got it. One more. One more and we got it. Can't even tie my line, I'm shaking so bad. Well, they waited till it was just right, went to this spot, this very populous bridge. There are some friends and family watching and getting the job done. And now back to Montevallo. <laughs> you see how uh, ugly that was? No, you're good. I knew it wasn't that big. Well, again, this Montevallo team would like nothing better to make it into the bracketed competition for the classic slot being at Lay Lake on the Coosa River there in Alabama. But, boy, they'll need some sort of miracle in just the last few minutes of fishing. Similar for the team from Orange, Texas, Lamar State College Gators just falling short, the time running out here on the Harris chain. We just need like one like we had yesterday. If we get one like that, we might squeak in the top four. Like just one true giant. Yeah, like yesterday's? Yeah, or bigger. You mentioned it, Tommy. They're going to need a miracle at the end. They're, they're talking about it right there. They know they need a big one because today has not gone their way. The bites that they've landed have been small. They've had fish come off in the pads. That is the way it goes in Florida. You either have four small ones and a giant, or you can get on a bunch of big ones, or sometimes it's all small ones today. They've only landed the little ones, but they still have a chance because giants live in Florida. Baby? Yep. Still got him? Yep. Where are you at? Still on there? I don't know. Yeah, he's still on there. That helps. Who oh, look, dude, hook fell out. God dang, dude. Oh, that helps so much. Took a while. God. We finally got five, though. Whew. Hey, we can throw it once, twice while we're in here. Oh, the clock is ticking on this team. Brett Friget, Jack Tyndall from Lamar State College. But a great season nonetheless. They made it this far. They started in the top four today. And this team right here from Bryan College has been overwhelming. Come on, fish. We're an eight pounder away from 30, dude. You got him? I saw he freeze. Look at that, dude. Look, look at the bait that's coming up off the bottom and sitting in the shadow of our boat. We've had it all three days, right? There's little, little bitty balls of bait. Yeah. You got one? Big one. Uh-oh. It's a six, dude. Yeah, it is. Oh, there, come on with the net job. That's, that's over six, buddy. That's a help. That's a helper. He hit my weight like 10 times. That's a big one. That's what we're getting rid of. One, two, three. Here we got five. One, two, five. Five. Kind of scary, there's more boats on them. I don't know if they're catching 40 pounds, but. So there, that, there's one all around five we're getting rid of. Yeah, I'll say so. We are one fish away from 30 now. That hurts, man. I don't know if I can let it go. Oh my God. I don't have sharp teeth. Hands are cut to pieces. 
Tommy, that's what we call getting rid of a big for a big big. It was as, a true big big, was it not? <laughs> as Sands and Tomorrow, an unprecedented tournament and unprecedented final day. Not only are they going to top the field, they're trying to top themselves, having 28 and 27 pounds the first two days of the tournament. They're nearing 30 pounds possibly with their five fish limit on this final day. Approaching records for three-day tournaments, margin of victory, so many different things up for grabs for this team. And a culmination of all their hard work for a 2020 season for a college fishing career to possibly end with a college championship today. A big day for this Bryan College duo. Bitter disappointment last year, finishing second place in the national championship on home water. Chickamauga was technically home water for them, but this is a different sort of home water. This is where Connor DeMauro grew up and always put Lake Beauclair on the map this time around. He says, I love it. It's got everything I like to fish in here. And boy, they like to catch them too, and that's what they have done all week. Leesburg, I need you to get loud for your 2020 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Champions, Cole Sands and Connor DeMauro from Bryan College with 84-12 through their three days of fishing on the Harris Chain of Lakes, anchored by their biggest bag today. 29 even. Hey, hats off to Cole Sands and Connor DeMauro. Hats off to Bryan College. Such an overwhelming victory in this national championship. It was something to behold. And I tell you what, uh, we look at that number of theirs, Ronnie, 8412. That's for three days of fishing, not just in college, but anywhere in any Bassmaster platform. That is the largest three day total ever. And not only did they have the largest three day total ever, their margin of victory, 25 pounds, 14 ounces. Tommy, just imagine catching 20 pounds a day and getting beat by 25 pounds. <laughs> that is what second place endured this week. But congratulations to Sands and tomorrow getting redemption. They went from second last year in the 2019 championship into the top spot this year. And obviously the goal is to make the Bassmaster Classic. So getting in that top four is going to be very important. Yeah, the top four teams as they stand, oh, as a, the, we go into that bracketed competition will be Bryan College, University of North Alabama, Georgia Southern University, and McKendry University. And as we look at that bracket, Tommy, we've got four different matchups. You've got Sands versus Jackson. You've got DeMauro versus McKinney, Black versus Dowler, Thomason versus Thompson. So we've got a couple different states represented. Two teams from Alabama, one team from Tennessee, one team from Illinois, a bunch of diverse anglers, and a bunch of great anglers with already some accolades on their resume. Always a hard fight and usually a nail biter. Definitely want to check that one out. Hey, so, so blessed to be able to complete this season with a college national championship. Thank you for being with us, and we will see you next time.